Hey guys, Meliza here. I just want to do a quick Tuesday morning um, haul. Unfortunately, um, both our locations here in Vegas is closing down. And um, thank you, shout out to um, Ate Julie for letting me know um, and sending me that information. So um, my daughter's getting her hair braided today and after I dropped her off, I did stop by to see um, what they have. So right now they're just doing 10% off, nothing big. So this will be my last Tuesday morning um, run because they barely have anything there. And um, what's in um, stocks on the shelves is all they have and, and that's it. And I just grabbed the stuff that was worth getting. Um, I did pick up this stamp set from Picket Fence Studios. And as you guys know, I love um, bugs and this has like moths and butterflies. I got um, these two. Um, I am a Raiders fan and um, these coordinate with Raiders colors. So I got that and I got two of these. These are the last two there. And I thought these would be cute to um, make dangles with and put it on your mini albums. Even though I have tons of thickers in my stash and don't use them because I forget that I have them, I did buy this set. I love the font for this. And then I got these two, uh, actually, what did I get? Four of them. So I got two of these. These were on clearance for $5.50. But I thought these would be cute to alter and then hang, hang it on, on my wall. Cause some of my walls are bare in here. So, and then I got these two. And I thought they're, these were a good price, um, especially something to alter and make it my own. So I got those. I got this stamp set. Got these jemmies. Um, and then I got another thing of football. Oh, actually I got more. Mm, what else? Then I got these summer dyes. Um, these are pretty expensive for what they are, but might as well, whatever. Then I got this stamp set with a little doggy with coordinating dye. And then I got this, um, what's it called? Embossing folder. And I thought this was a really cute texture print. Then I got the, um, this air drying clay. I kind of figured I could try to do um, more cabochons and don't have to worry about putting it in the oven and then painting uh, the cabochons uh, with whatever color I want. So I'll try that out. Then I got a pack of these acrylic paints because I barely have um, any color options and these are pastel colors. And I got this um, brush. It's like a stenciling brush, as you can see. So um, I want to try this out and see how I like it. And then I got um, other paint brushes. Um, I also got these two um, boxes. Um, I was thinking about storing um, my ribbon and stuff here and then tucking this away in my bookshelf because right now um, all my ribbon is just laying in my bookshelf. I do have like a little ribbon rack, but it's like a hot mess. And I kind of just want to take that ribbon rack away and just store all my ribbon in here so it'd be nice and tidy inside a box. So that's it for Tuesday morning. Um, my cashier, he was kind of upset. I guess people are just bringing up like they heard the store was closing. And um, when I got up to the register, I asked him if there was like a definite date of when they are, um, you know, fully closing down. And he was telling me that they had the audacity to send customers, you know, emails saying that they were closing down, but they did not let the employees know at all that they were closing down. They still haven't officially told them that they were closing down. 
um, but they did want them to hang a sign from the ceiling saying that they're closing down. So um, he was kind of upset and, you know, times are tough right now. So be kind to people, you guys. Um, now they have to like look for jobs. I don't even know when they're gonna be closing down. So I was really, I felt bad for him. Um, I did haul this happy birthday die from the Happy Crafter Shop and I did cut it out. It's ready to go. I'm about to make a birthday card for my two boys. So um, I love the font to this. I did layer it with foam, so super cute. Um, what else? I did have this stuff come in from AliExpress. I kind of feel bad, you guys, because these are like the Tim Holtz dies. Um, but you guys already know, like Tim Holtz dies are like 20 something dollars. But I found the same design on AliExpress and they were, they were like $5, $3 each. So this was the frog one from his um, Halloween release. And I got this wood one. I think this is from their Valentine's Day release. I got the um, chocolates. And then this is like a specimen dye one. This is the bunny one. And then these have um, different hats and suits and ties and stuff. It took a while for this to get here, but I kind of feel bad like ordering this type of stuff. But oh well, let's see how that turns out. Um, I did order from Timu and shipping was fast. So I ordered last Thursday and my orders came in, I think Tuesday, Wednesday. So it was really fast, you guys. Um, but majority of my stuff wasn't like craft related. I bought, um, my daughter some like nail stuff because she wants to learn how to do um, nail art and make her own press on nails so we got her a whole bunch of stuff to do that and I think the only thing that was crafty related I did get this happy birthday die but I haven't come into it yet and then I got this um, butterfly mold so I do want to make some more like cabochons and stuff with that and then I do want to show you guys because I didn't get any um, crafty related items, but I did grab um, a few little outfits for my niece that's in Montana. So I got this little cute little cow print one. And it says one, she's gonna be one soon. So I got this for her. Um, it's my brother's fifth baby and their last. So got her that. And since they are in Montana, Get her some cow print stuff so look at this so cute with the little bell bottoms in the end and then this is like a long sleeve cute and it comes with a coordinating little headband as well and then i got her a cute strawberry outfit and um yeah these little outfits were cheap so I just wanted to see um, the quality and the quality is fair. I like it. And then I got like the kids like some plushies and stuff like that. So um, I highly suggest it for like, you know, other things. Um, right now, like their dye selection is not, you know, as great as AliExpress right now, but I'm pretty sure eventually it would grow. Um, but yeah, really fast shipping. But I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye.